Hi Floss 2 friends, welcome to my channel. I am doing a stitch with me today. Um, it is going to be on a stamped fabric. And here's the, the fabric here. It is an owl. A snow owl. And I'm going to begin this project today. All right, so start with my needle. I'm probably going to do a lot of editing on this video because um, I'm not much of a talker, but <laughs> I'm going to try my best and just see how it goes. Um, okay, so where to begin? Um, I can begin anywhere. It is stamped, so I could just choose about any spot that I want. And I think I'm going to go with the larger block colors first. So, um, looks like the blue here, right in this corner here, the blue. I think that's where I'm going to start first. So, let's see. It is uh, number 15 here. Beautiful thread here. Number 15 um, will be this one. I'm just going to pull out, I need three to work with, so I'm just going to pull it one at a time here. And hold the rest in my hand. But because this is so long, I like to scoot it down a little bit. So that it doesn't knot. And this is something that for those of you who are starting out, you'll you'll get the hang of it once you do it a few times. Now that's my first. And I've got uh, one, two more to do. Okay. I put the ends together. So I'm going to start in this corner here. <clears throat> it's going to be harder than I thought. Filling a stitch with me is going to be harder than I thought. I'm using my iPad and so I cannot zoom in from the side that I'm videotaping. So I need to catch that tail and hold it firmly. while I make my first stitch. Okay, so the first stitch that I make is a completed cross stitch. So I go this way and then this way. So that's my first completed cross stitch there. Right there. That's where I'm starting rather than over here and jumping around. I just don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm starting here and going this way. And now I'll do this, use the sewing method. So what I'm going to need to do in order to do the sewing method, I'm going to, the sewing method in hand, I'm going to roll up the fabric. And then I'm going to use the clip 
to hold it in place. And I don't need, I could put another one on the other end, but I don't think I need to. And then we're going to begin. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera. Oh my gosh, that might happen a few times because I have a really lousy setup here. Uh, but I don't know how else to do it right now. I'm just learning, so just have to go through the trial and error. And then I also use a magnifying glass because I just can't do it without it. Already got my first knot. Not starting off well at all. Okay. That was easy to undo this time. Sorry for the uh, periods of silence. <laughs> I, um, I'm going to try and, um, and stitch while having a conversation <laughs> with, with you guys. Of course, it's a one-sided conversation, but... Um, So during periods of silence, if I can't think of anything to talk about, I'm going to cut those parts out. So that way um, it's not terribly um, quiet. But I've seen you, I've seen some stitchers on YouTube that do, that make um, a Stitch With Me content on their channels. And I do like to um, listen in while I'm stitching on my own work. So I kind of have it running in the background. And uh, sometimes you guys talk about actual um, information about stitching or other times you just talk about what's going on in your lives what you've got planned for the weekend and just stuff like that so I don't know if this is something that I should be starting now so early on my channel because um, I don't have very many videos up and you guys don't know me well enough uh, that might not be something that you're interested in but I thought I'd give it a try and just see um, what you guys are interested in. If, uh, if you like the Stitch With Me and uh, getting to know a little bit more about me. Um, I just started back to uh, cross stitching. I, I did it a long time ago, a few projects. Um, but I was more into crochet, so I just kept going back to crocheting, and I, I cross stitching just didn't stick with me at that time. And so, just recently, at the end of last year, I bought a uh, stamped can, a stamped kit, and started that, and it um, it piqued my my interest. Oops, I hope this is not going to knot. Um, and it was fun. 
I still haven't finished it though, but I just need to take a break from it. I'm almost done with it. So, I, um, oh gosh, this is, this is a bit of a challenge for me, um, making the uh, YouTube video content and, and then now I'm tackling <clears throat> another challenge, which is um, actually stitching while I'm talking. <laughs> And uh, I'm used to doing this in silence, paying attention to what I'm doing. That's why I chose a stamped project to do the stitch with me, because if it was counted, there's no way that I could do it. At least this way, I don't have to count, and um, it'll be easier. So like I was saying, uh, some of uh, the stitchers that I've watched who do stitch with me videos, um, I like to watch. I like to have it going in the background while I'm stitching my work. And uh, But I know that it's not uh, everybody's cup of tea. Not everybody's go going to like this type of video, but I'm just learning. Um, what you guys prefer and uh, if you can let me know in the comments section if you do like to watch these types of videos where um, your um, stitcher that you're following uh, if you like to watch them stitch and talk about whatever it is the topic for the day um, I'm a pretty much of an introvert, so <clears throat> I, I don't know, I, I would say that um, I'm not very talkative, I'm more of a quiet person, um, so this is uh, a little bit out of my comfort zone, but that's okay. I'm going to push through. And I'm going to try. Whoops. <laughs> I pulled a little too strongly and my needle went flying. So anyway, um, I am living in Northern California. I'm, I've been married for about, I think, 31 years now, and we have uh, one grown-up daughter, and we uh, recently had a chihuahua, but sadly, <coughs> actually, three it's three weeks today. We had to put our little dog down to rest because he was old and he was in a lot of pain. He had Cushing's disease, so he was really um, having a hard time standing up and walking. So we had to make that horrible decision um, to say goodbye, and so that was uh, three weeks ago. And I, I miss him dearly. So thinking um, about ha doing this video um, a few days ago, <laughs> I thought, oh my gosh, what am I going to talk about, you know? I just did a search on Google, and I put in, I put in something like um, questions to ask to get to know somebody. And so I found a list of questions, so I think maybe I'll, I'll just follow it, and uh, that way 
because if I have to stitch here and think about what to say next, I'm, I'm going to kind of struggle. <laughs> That's weird. My daughter has said to me, Mom, you're socially awkward. <laughs> I'm not socially awkward. I can talk just fine with a group of people. I have no problem. But, you know, they're in front of me. I can see them. They can talk back. <laughs> I'm not in a conversation by myself like I am right here. So it's a little bit strange. But she calls me that. She says that about me because um, she feels that I just don't talk enough. And like I said, I'm a quiet person. That's just the way I am. But it is what it is. Anyway, I think I'm going to look at that list here pretty soon because I uh, can't really think of anything to talk about. <laughs> I do like cross-stitching. It's, it's fun. It's relaxing. It's therapeutic for me. Um, I've had anxiety basically all my life. I just always find something to worry about. And <clears throat> stitching just relaxes me. It, um, it keeps my mind on what I'm presently doing instead of somewhere where it shouldn't be. So it does help a lot. And sometimes I do have sleepless nights. And what I was doing before was get, you know, just uh, crocheting in bed. <laughs> I'd just get my crochet doily out or whatever it was I'm working on and, and crochet. So now I've got something else that I can do, cross-stitching, is also a good thing to do when, when my mind is going somewhere where it shouldn't. It helps a lot. Okay, so I'm, there's a lot to jump here. There's one, two, three, four. I don't like to jump that many. Not with uh, 11 count. So I think I'm just going to go my way back and cross all of them now. And I think I'm going to need to turn my work and roll up this side. I should have taken my rings off my hands because it's uh, hitting the desk and it's making noise. Okay, so I'm going to go back now and cross the stitches that I completed. Um, but I came out the wrong hole. Try again. Okay, I'm gonna take my rings off. It's bothering me even. Okay, that's better. Where am I? So I looked on a Google, like I said earlier, I think. I looked on Google um, for a, oops, wrong spot. So here is uh, <laughs> what I was talking about earlier, good get to know you questions. So I'll just follow that and that'll help me out here. <laughs> so the first one is, what are your hobbies? Well, you guys know one of them and that's cross stitch it has definitely become one of my hobbies now. Uh, crochet and plastic canvas needlework are the three main uh, hobbies that I have right now that I rotate through. The next question is what are you passionate about? Hmm. What am I passionate about? Oh, I, um, I've raised butterflies, 
So I have milkweed for the uh, monarchs. And I have, um, I have passion vines for the um, gulf fritillary, the pipe vine. And I cannot pronounce the scientific name for, for, those, for those plants. I just can't. I'm not even going to try. I have a lot of uh, host plants for the monarchs the pipe vines, gulf fritillaries, those butterflies, and um, and also uh, a few others. I have uh, quite a few host plants in my backyard and in my front yard for them. Let's see, the fourth question is, what is your most prized possession? That, uh, that would be photos, photos and videos. So if I ever had to evacuate, I would be grabbing those first thing. Pictures, photos, photo albums and, um, and videos. What is the greatest of accomplishment of your life? Mm, I'd say having my daughter. <laughs> having my daughter becoming a mom. That was my greatest accomplishment. <laughs> Not that I was having trouble getting pregnant, although it did take me a year to get pregnant, but yeah, I started to panic. I started to think, oh my gosh, it's been a year. I haven't gotten pregnant. And I had a great pregnancy. We had one daughter, and that was our one only child. And um, why was that? Was I don't, you know, when she turned five, I just kept thinking, not now. Not yet. I'm just not ready to go through the diaper stage again. Yeah. And, um, and we just kept putting it off, putting it off until f we just thought, you know what? Our one girl is enough. We're okay. We're okay with just one. And that's how it stayed. We got a dog that was that just, oh, that just made our life complete. We were okay with just one child. And my pregnancy was great. I had no problems at all. No morning sickness or anything like that. I had the sweetest nine months ever. No complaints. I enjoyed every second of it. Hide the tail back here and cut that off. I'm probably going to, I hope I'm not out of screen. I keep forgetting to check. Awkward silence again, huh? Um, let's see, what's the next? What is on your bucket list? I don't think I have a bucket list. So on my bucket list, um, that would be to visit Niagara Falls. Definitely would like to go there. Because um, I've never been there before. I've never been to Hawaii believe it or not. And um, I'd like to go there someday as well. Okay, what is your favorite recent memory? Recent, favorite, recent memory. 
Oh, I know. That would be, um, I went to Disneyland with two dear friends of mine. And we went for about four days. And we had a lot of fun. It was a great time. Um, also, although <laughs> it was in November. I think it was November uh, 15 or 17, I can't remember now, but it was the day that it poured. I mean, the first day we were there, it poured rain, so much rain. Um, we had our ponchos, and <laughs> we, we did okay. I mean, it wasn't all that bad, but yeah, it... Uh, it was all right. It was all right. We were with with good company, and uh, and we still had fun, nonetheless. And the next few few days, it was fine. Okay. Um, what is your best childhood memory? Hmm. My best. Childhood memory. Family. Being with my cousins for the holidays. Those were the best memories ever. Especially around Christmas time. <clears throat> we lived in a neighborhood where uh, two of my aunts lived in the same neighborhood. And we were so close by. One was right across the street from us, and another was over a few blocks away. Oh my gosh, just so close by. So when it came to Christmas holiday, um, we would take turns uh, among the three families to host Christmas Eve, because that, that was when we... It was a tradition that we would open our gifts uh, on Christmas Eve and, uh, and go to somebody's home. It was either my parents' uh, home or, or one of my aunts. And then the next year it would be someone else's. But we celebrated Christmas Day as well, so um, someone else would do Christmas Day, and we would just rotate. Those are, that's my favorite childhood memory, for sure. We were all together. There was no drama then, at that time. And uh, it was, it was good times. It was great. So the next one is, what is your favorite holiday? Mm, Christmas, definitely Christmas. Who knows you best? <laughs> that would be my husband. What family me member are you closest to? Well, I am was very close to my mom, and uh, she was my, she was the person I would go to when I had um, problems, you know, she would, she was a good listener, and she always had something, whatever advice she had was always um, comforting to me. And just talking to her was comforting. But she has, uh, she passed a year ago, so I no longer have that connection anymore. Okay, so let's see, go on to the next question is, uh, what skill would you most like to learn? Painting. I definitely want to learn how to paint. A little bit of fuzz is coming through from the to the front, so I need to 
get that out of there. Let's see. Okay, it's gone. So that definitely is something that I would like to learn, is to uh, paint. That might be my next hobby that I'll give a try, but not right now. I'm having way too much fun <coughs> with cross-stitching. I have, I have not even picked up my cro crochet hook, I don't know, for how long now? Maybe uh, since November of last year? I think since November of last year is when I last picked up my hook. What do you enjoy spending money on? <laughs> Hobbies, of course. That's what I enjoy spending money on. My hobbies. Decorative uh, items for the house for the holidays. I enjoy spending money on that too. I just bought some <clears throat> Some spring silk flowers from uh, Joanne's Fabric Craft Store for, um, well, President's Day yesterday. I was there and I bought some. So, so I would say home decorating items and hobby hobbies is what I'd like to spend my money on. And uh, what's the next? Uh, hmm. Some of these questions I have to actually really think about. <laughs> what is the bi biggest risk you ever took? What is the biggest risk I ever took? I don't know. <laughs> I don't usually take big risks. So, I don't know. What is the most, okay, tell us an embarrassing story, nah, explain an inside joke you have with a friend or family member. Pass. I don't have an inside joke with anybody. Uh, tell me your life story in exactly one sentence. <laughs> Some of these questions are hard. Not easy. Describe your most eccentric family member. Describe your most eccentric family member. Don't think that would be a good idea to do that on YouTube. Definitely pass that one. Have you ever met a celebrity? Which celebrity would you like to meet? Hmm. Not into celebrities. Well, that's something that I pretty much don't really care about. Okay, I think that's gonna that's gonna be it for today. <laughs> Sorry if this video was a total flop. Um, I will try better next time. Um, anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye.